Good morning, everyone, and I'm accompanied here by my good friend, now Remus. Thank you for your wonderful work. So we're here to talk again about the Omicron variant of COVID-19. One thing on the name first, uh, I've heard a lot of people call this Omicron. I, I was of the belief that that was a transformer. I've now been informed that it, the transformer is actually Unicron. Neither Unicron or Omicron are the correct forms of uh, talking about this virus. It is Omicron, that is a Greek alphabetical letter, and it signifies that there, this is a variant of concern. Uh, we're concerned about it because it is a very different looking virus from its, its genetic makeup, uh, but it is still the COVID-19 uh, virus. Some of the mutations in that virus are uh, suggestive that it may be more transmissible, or it could actually avoid some of the immune system that we have to protect ourselves against that virus. Uh, but these are theoretical concepts at the moment. We are gathering further information about Omicron and every day we know more. And I'll share some of those new knowings shortly. So to your questions. Is Omicron milder? Are the symptoms different? Well, so far we have uh, information from around the world and here in Australia about the, uh, the infection uh, of this new variant in real people, in real time. The symptoms are the same uh, that we've seen all the way through, uh, but they have tended so far to be milder than previous versions of the virus. But I'd be very cautious about that. We only have a small number of cases here in Australia and elsewhere around the world with good information about their symptoms. So we're still watching very carefully about that. Uh, we don't know the effect, for example, in older people. Most of the people that have so far been reported from South Africa, which has a much younger population, uh, or young, mostly young travellers around the world, um, uh, we don't have a lot of information about older people. Does it mean that we should treat this like flu? as it's not so deadly. So again, we know that this is very transmissible between people, that is definitely the case. We've seen already here in Australia a super spreading event from an indoor setting in Sydney. Uh, so it is transmissible. Is it less severe? As I said, we're not sure. The jury is still out on, on that particular issue. So why is the variant more concerning than Delta, for example? So Delta is still the main type of the virus that is circulating around the world. Very large numbers, for example, in Europe. Uh, that is the most of the case here in Australia as well. We are seeing Delta in Victoria, in the ACT, in South Australia, in Sydney uh, and other parts of New South Wales. Uh, so why, why might this be different? That, again, we need to make sure that that's the case um, about severity, about whether the vaccines will work, about whether the treatments will work. These are uh, open questions still. We expect in the next week to find out more about vaccines. The, the virus is growing in laboratories here in Australia, both in Sydney and in Melbourne. Um, and we will be doing that work here in Australia, as well as internationally. And we'll get that information as soon as it's available. And we'll be sharing that information with you. Uh, in terms of treatments, we had some good news this morning. One of the treatments, a monoclonal antibody, uh, it's, a, it's a passive immunisation. We give, the, uh, through an injection, the antibodies into the system to fight the virus. Uh, that particular um, drug is called sotrovimab. Uh, sotrovimab does work uh, against this new variant. So that is good news uh, that I can share with you today. Uh, but there'll be more information that will come to hand and we'll continue to uh, use this forum uh, as well as other forums to make sure that that information is shared quickly and reliably. Uh, so please keep watching out for further social media um, uh, posts over the next few days as well as our press conferences. And uh, so I'll close with saying thank you so much, Remus. That's been a, another good update and thank you for listening. <laughs>